Hi everyone. A brand new cinematic trailer for the first Diablo 4 DLC, Vessel of Hatred, has just dropped. And it comes with a lot of reveals. I've been covering the lore of Diablo, specifically Diablo 4, for the past year, so I'm hyped to explain what this trailer means for the story and its characters. Let's get started. First, a quick recap. At the end of Diablo 4's campaign, Nirel decides to imprison Mephisto in a soul stone. Mephisto, of course, is the Lord of Hatred, one of the three prime evils, and the father of Lilith, the big, bad, red demoness we fight throughout Diablo 4. Nirel believes that imprisoning Mephisto is the right decision, as he is the biggest threat currently in Sanctuary. However, in my opinion, it's all part of Mephisto's plan. I've dedicated a whole video to that, so go check it out. Now, having Mephisto in a soul stone doesn't mean he is contained. If anything, he slowly seeps out of the artifact and corrupts everything around it. To save Sanctuary from that corruption, Nirel takes it upon herself to leave the safety of Lorath and the Horadrim to find a way to destroy the stone and the evil within. After the campaign of Diablo 4 ends, we are treated to a cinematic where we see Nirel on a boat crossing the sea accompanied by the Bloody Wolf one of the vessels of Mephisto. That's where the game ends, but Nirel's story picks back up in the Book of Lorath. It's a physical lore and concept art book published by Blizzard when Diablo 4 came out, and I have a copy. Now, in the book, Nirel travels all over Sanctuary, looking for a way to destroy the stone. The last we heard of her, she had just left the Floating Sky Monastery, the headquarters of the monks of Ivgorod, nestled within the Tamui Mountains. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to find a solution to Mephisto's corruption through the monks. During this time, Nirel suffers from violent hallucinations while death and destruction follow her like a plague. Wherever she goes, people suffer, cities burn, and chaos arises. These are all the effects of Mephisto and the soul stone she carries around with her. And this is the last time we hear about Nirel until today. The opening cinematic for Vessel of Hatred begins with Nirel praying to Akaras on a canoe. It's clear Nirel is deep in the jungle here. She is approaching the new region we will get to explore in the DLC, the jungles of Nahantu. We can see that Nirel is holding the blue soulstone, nearly fighting with it as it oozes black goo all over the place. This is in stark contrast to the soulstone we saw in the previous cinematic where it was all still clean and pristine. Nirel is clearly in a lot of pain here, losing her mind as she tries to keep the corruption contained within the stone. This is where Nirel hears a voice calling out to her. Surprised and stopped in her tracks, Nirel sees her mother. Now, if you remember the campaign of Diablo 4, you'll remember that Nirel originally traveled with her mother, Venard, across all of Sanctuary in search of artifacts belonging to the Haradrim. Eventually, her mother was seduced by Lilith, Mephisto's daughter, and lost her mind to the point of dying. We know it's her mother because in the game, some quests, and also Venard herself, refers to Nirel as Magpie, which she does hear again in the trailer. I'm here, little magpie. <laughs> but wait, Mephisto is the patron of plans within plans. He's the eternal schemer. And it's revealed that it's not Venard who speaks to Norel. No, it's Mephisto himself, playing and toying with her mind. He wants Norel to let go, to give up and to give in to the corruption. There is something interesting here. Nirel says, I must get to Akarat's tomb. Akarat was a priest and the founder of the faith that would give rise to the Zakarum church. And the Order of Zakarum, otherwise known as the Church of Light, is the religious order and sanctuary dedicated to the worship of heaven, of light. However, its faith has often led to fanaticism, as we've seen in Diablo 4 with the church, right? It's all over the place. It's brutal. It's sacrilegious. It's painful. It's bloody. Anyway, we don't know how Akarot died, but we do know he disappeared in the jungles of Kejistan, which makes sense as Nirel is heading in that direction. So how can the tomb of Akarat help Nirel? Is there an artifact or tool she could use to destroy the soul stone? It's actually funny that she is looking for the Tomb of Akarat, because if you spend a bit of time in the town of Zarbinzet in Diablo 4, you'll have certainly heard that the Zakarum Church are deep into their search for the Tomb of Akarat, and no one can shut up about it. Anyway, 
Mephisto manipulating Narelle's thoughts and appearing to her as her mother, it's peak Mephisto. He's a cruel guy, to say the least. So when Narelle finds out it's actually Mephisto who appeared before her, she kind of snaps out of it and she says, of course it's you. That's because this isn't her first rodeo. Since the moment she picked up that soul stone, Mephisto has been tormenting her every step of the way. God knows what mental torture he has plagued upon her. Narelle really walked into this one when she imprisoned Mephisto in the stone in the first place. As he says in the trailer, I told you there would be consequences. This was his plan all along. He even says, you hold the stone, but you control nothing. Mephisto is always in control, playing 4D chess while you are setting up checkers. The brutality of this trailer is just peak Diablo, and I love it. It's metal AF. And to be honest, I'm here for it. And even though Narelle was never my favorite character, watching her hang like a piece of messed up, strung up salami spliced with string cheese between the bones of the Lord of Hatred himself made me chuckle. Poor girl. <laughs> so anyway, she comes back to her senses in the canoe and her friend is impaled on a corrupted spike of black goo. It's a cool detail that confirms that although Mephisto is in the stone, there are still some physical ways he can affect the world. This correlates with the death and destruction Nirel finds on her path. We then see the entrance to the jungles of Nahantu as Nirel pushes her little canoe forward. Now, the official website and the YouTube description give us a little more info on what to expect from the story. Quote, journey into the new region of Nahantu in search of Nirel. The in search of Nirel is the important part here. My guess is that Lorath is catching up to her and we will be right there with him. Will Nirel manage to destroy the soul stone before she loses her mind? Probably not, but I'm looking forward to seeing all this carnage and destruction up close when the DLC releases on October 8th. If I was a betting man, I'm going to guess that the quest has us try to catch up to Narelle until ultimately we do catch up with her, but she's full on possessed and she's the boss of the DLC. Anyway, are you looking forward to it? Let me know in the comments. Also, Cat Monks 